Gold Vikings. I don't really think you need that much chrono damage to play for Faceless Void, just in general. I think they should have enough. They do a finger as well, coincides well with the cooldown. I don't think... If Timbersaw has a good lane, then the cooldowns don't matter. But if Timbersaw manages to get pressured, we saw the Major a couple times where, like, I think Ame on Faceless... Oh! Oh my god, Kezu, all right. Beast. We see you. Nice timber chain. I have TW to get players uh, have that timing on you because you don't see the skills, so you morph right. into them. I see. Oh, bottom lane. They're going to lock down ILTW again. He's attempting to get out with that attribute shift. Looks like he's okay for now, but they might turn this around to Kuroki. Instead, there's three members of Viking right now, but here comes Miracle. Made his first TP rotation. Shows himself now, has the coil available. Looks like he's going to use it. It's only going to be on one, and it's just the support Avid on level two. Looks to be fine for now. He's going to get the Aphotic Shield off. Now they might try to turn this around on Miracle. Aramis has plenty of mana to work with. Miracle might get silenced here if he's not careful. There's the silence coming in. It's going to prevent the Illusory Orb. Gets Hexed on top of that. And a huge kill for Viking in this bot lane. Yeah. But you can see this Timbersaw, he took bot tower so fast. He's just going to come up here to that. Oh, top lane. All right. Speaking of mind control, going to get the Chronosphere from Shad. They have the damage with that Chakram into the Timber Chain, but he's so tanky on mind control. But again, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> oh, faking out the Culling Blade, but not nearly low enough to get a kill. Now he has no TP scroll, and IOTW is manning up on that top tower. They are setting up for this. Oh, boom. First RP of the game into the finger. My goodness. That is a deletion of ILTW, and that is the Blink Dagger reveal for Mr. Boom. But at the same time, maybe sticking around a little bit too long. Miracle's here with the... The coil into orb, and that ends up being an easy trade. You see huh? all counter morphling. Celery showing himself here. Mind control is going to finally get off that blink call. Borrow time has already popped. He's just going to get run down here, though, in all likelihood. Although there is Aramis coming. He gets the Earth Spike off, only connecting on one. They might turn around on him instead. But Celery showing how this position five. Okay, he's finally going to get called again and chopped down here. That's the most satisfying spell in the entire game. It is very satisfying call, because he instantly popped it there at the secret shot. Mm. Even if you use it, you're still called. Yeah. All right, Kezu taking some pressure here, but Mind Control gets off the call onto two heroes, but has to back up now. He's going to just get... Nope, he's going to get skewered back into the tier one. They might have to leave him here with the Chakram, the Whirling Death, all this damage from Viking. Able to blow up the pretty tanky Mind Control. But they're focused on the axe. Right, right. Yeah, Kezu. Pressuring the tier one, trying to keep this siege alive again. He's been doing a really good job this game. Of course, that is Timber Saw's MO, generally speaking. Uh, is that. Are they getting two mechs? Am I crazy? Who's, who's getting second? Uh, Kuro? I think oh, did they? Just yeah, Io has a mech and. Oh, Kuro has really queued up. Queuing one up right now. We're going to see the primal split. Coil only on the one right now. They're actually going to pop it right off the bat. They're going to be able to kill. Beast Storm Panda. There's the RP though, only onto one hero. And the Chakra on the follow. They don't have enough damage to take out TW right now. So it's a 5v4 in favor of Team Nigma. LTW continue to try to right click boom. I'll, I mean, he has turned into Faceless Void himself, so he gets off the time walk. He has a ton of HP manipulation now. He gets pressured here again by Kezu. There's the Berserker's call. Can they actually blow him up in time? It's gonna be close. Time up coming off cooldown. There we go. Shad will live, but the tier one falls. Really clutch play from Kuro there. There's just enough time to finish off that line, which really clutched him to fight. Yeah, Kuro trying to get these stacks taken from Shad. <laughs> gets the Thunderclap off. I believe he got those as well. Now he's going to get pressured, though, but there's the counter initiation from Mind Control onto two. Botic Shield applied to Shad now, but they're just going to turn this around. Looks like Kuroki is the first to fall in this engagement. It'll be a one for one to start. And now we have the relocate coming for GH, so Miracle will be out of here. This is actually kind of cool. He, uh, Kuroki has a shard queued up that gives the, the void brewling that has like the disarm. Okay. So the ultra micro coming in from Kuro. Of course, he's very poor, so Agonist Scepter would be amazing with a double charge, but... I have never seen the shard. Yeah, it's, it's very rare. So we'll be interested to see how well it works. I mean, if he gets that off on void, obviously that's going to be pretty freaking powerful. It's Miracle looking to set up here as the tier 2 is there, but only coil onto 1 as Mind Control gets the initiation and the chop down onto Aramis. And with that, we'll see if Viking tries to back out. Kezu completely surrounded, but the Timber Chain is there. Shad looking for the initiation. Chronosphere onto 3, but there's the relocate while he was chronoed. Nicely done overall, but that's going to be the Aegis down. You can see GH TPing back to the Tier 2 tower, which was not taken out. Mind Control now. 
Gets the call off only on the one. Now the wave for him, but there is a big RP onto two. Can they save ILTW? Gets off that Manta style, but boom, again, the skewer back into enemy lines. Celery finally gets the borrow time off as ILTW continue to get right click, but do they have the damage is the question. Shad needs to look for this potential kill. The Timber Chain is there. Now the waveform into TP. He needs the bash, but he's not going to get it. But in the end, Vikings still get three kills. Very nicely done from them. Uh, Boom and company are smoked up right now. Looking for an initiation. They'll find mind control. And he is totally surrounded and bursted down. Another charge on that finger of death. Easy ward, easy kill into Axe, and now, you know, Nigma they don't have the Manta timing anymore. Yeah, of course, Nigma were in the wild cards for the Major, and played extremely well throughout the tournament. Reload. As we're gonna see, RP Ooh. is gonna connect, it's gonna be onto three, but the Andis does pop for Miracle, which provides him the hard dispel, but GH gets completely blown up. It will be a trade for the Lion, but it looks like everybody else for Nigma will be able to retreat in time. Yeah, we don't deserve to know what our spells do. <laughs> You have to buy it to find out. That's the way it happens. Oh, Chad, oh, the Chronosphere onto one. It's going to be GH taking a tumble. Perhaps looking for ILTW as well, but he was just outside of range. They go for Roche. Of course, it's just an IO. They're going to scan. Does Team Nigma, so they know. This is the second Roche, of course. They have so the ward. Shard available. And IO has no buyback. That is true. 10 seconds. Shiva's finally delivered to Kezu. My god, ILTW has to be careful. They're going to turn this around with the finger of death. They take out Kuroki. Oh, inside the pit, though, the snatch from Shad. So Team Nigma get the the actual Roche kill. Um, like, what do you like about it? I mean, it just lets you... The range is more important. Oh, you're going to have to hold those horses, young man. We're going to have to relocate. Okay, you can start talking again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're, they're going to set up. Oh, uh, yeah, they're going back in. Shad gets the time dilation off onto GH. There's the RP. It's only onto the Morphling, who'd already popped. His attribute shift, they're going to try to get GH, they'll do so successfully. Of course, the relocate, not the greatest. Is now ILTW getting uh, pressure uh, into the trees he goes. He's going to get skewered back out. Another time dilation to follow. Do they have the damage to finish him off? It looks like the answer to that is yes. Double kill for Shad. In the meantime, Mind Control dies in the mid lane. And now Kuro getting chased by Kezu, who has a shard of his own. So he's breathing fire. Kezu's build this game is so good. He's just completely destroying this game. Yeah, with no that Chakram into the Whirling Death. Four dead, and Viking lose nobody. That item is redonkulous now. Absolutely. Well, he's going to jump in, but they know he doesn't have Chronosphere. They're not going to be too scared. doesn't have Agnum Scepter either, so you're not going to get that bash. As we can see, top lane getting a little bit pressured right now by the illusions of ILTW. But oh, look, Rex. Oh, the, the, oh, oh, the stun. stun. <laughs> the GA shard turning out to be... Pretty value there, at least, but we're going to see on the other side here. Looking for Miracle. Oh, he might be in some trouble. Gets the coil off, but the finger of death blows him up. 70 seconds of no Miracle. And Shad just continuing to go ham here. He's going to get Berserker, Berserker call, but he is more than healthy. Still has the Aegis intact. This is going to be a second Rax for Viking. You do have IOTW. He's pushing pretty fast top with that Butterfriend, and IO relocating even. Yep, that's true. We can see the skewer here onto my control. See if they can finish him off as well. Basically in enemy territory right now. You can see ILTW getting some help from GH in the meantime. But my control is easily going to get right click down right now by Boom. Shockwave finishes him off. So double racks for Viking. You can see the Aegis was finally expired here. And all Nigma could get was that tier 3 tower top. Did a little bit of damage to the melee, but that's about it. Chronosphere back up at 35 seconds. Remember, no puck for quite a while now. There's the RP into the skewer onto two heroes, and GH is dead again. Does have buyback, though. Double kill for Boom. RP, actually, still down. ILTW has that BKB, but he's just going to get bashed down into oblivion. GG is called in full force for Viking. In theory, no pressure, especially to a rain show. And Miracle, in the meantime, has the level advantage to start this game. As the LSA will connect, but Armas is here, gets the cookie off. And the minus armor coming oh. through, but it's not going to matter. Miracle just decimates Boom. And that is a huge kill for Team Nigma. The LSA is not going to connect here, but the right-click damage will be... A l I mean, yeah, we got the Aphotic Shield anyway. But you talked about how Team Nigma would have to get off to a good laning start. Is this good enough? This is pretty freaking good overall. Miracle is outplaying them really hard for bottom lane. Oh, cookie again. Lots of damage onto ILTW. That means Viking gets themselves their first kill of the game, finally, in this bot lane. 
getting rid of a sentry there and blocking the Ancients as well as Kezu. All right, homing missile with the call down coming down. Rocket Barrage to follow. This looks like more than enough damage to take out Kezu. And meanwhile, Celery takes a Laguna Blade to the face. Stun Ray to follow. Looks like it will at least get the Abaddon, but boom, doing so much damage. Kuroki, of course, not level six yet, but this is the big kill. Nice cookie on top of his face. <laughs> That's true. Oh, my control. Reload All right, we have the cookie, Shad. Did some damage, but he sees the relocate, like you said, and now ILTW here with that homing missile and the flak cannon. Just want to get this tier one tower. Question is, can Viking defend? Do they want to defend? Looks like GH and company going to get back. Oh, the initiation. Now, boom, knew this was coming. They're going to be able to take out GH right away. No, has to expend a little bit more mana just to finish him off. Now, ILTW getting chased with that static link. Mind control has made his way here, but it's too late. Double kill already for boom. And now mind control, can he get the return kill? Get the electric vortex finally. They will find Boom in the end. And now Kezu in a lot of trouble. See the Mortimer's Kisses trying to help him out, but in the end, they will find that second kill for Team Nigma. They lose ILTW and GH, but they get two cores in return. That's not... GH is not capable of anger. As, oh, Split Earth actually will connect onto Kezu, who's getting Sun Raid as well. Aphotic Shield gonna keep him alive a little bit longer, but not long enough. And now Celery might get Dove. Still has the borrowed time to work with, though, so Team Nigma. Not wanting to go any further as well. We're going to see some TPs, though, from Viking. Both Boom scary. and Armis. Yeah, I don't it's know if they can defend this. The dive actually comes in. They're going to spot out Armis, gets the cookie. LSA is going to connect. Boom actually jumps in, gets the electric vortex, but he's going to have to leave the old hag and her Mortimer mount to die. Normally, you think, oh, there's five heroes in a triangle. They're all bottom. Ursa should do Roshan, because that was my first slot. Mm. But I had to remind myself that I'm stupid and I can see everything. So <laughs> they can't do that. How dare they not see <laughs> How everything? How dare they not see everything in their nope. map packs? Salary, Yules. We have the LSA and Split Earth combination available, but Salary's going to pop that borrowed time. And yeah, with one stun, this will ensure the kill onto Salary. Back to the top lane with nobody with him. He's lonely now. I mean, this could be a potential good opportunity. Yeah, no TP as well. I wonder if I clicked him and saw he had no TP. I do like doing mm -hmm. this as Ido. I bring my carry so I leave him there so I can farm my Oh, back. we have LSA into Laguna Blade. It's actually enough damage to take out Armus. Now Miracle takes some heavy damage, but looks like Boom is just going to get out of dodge. Has the homing missile coming. Looks like he'll be fine, but Viking definitely cannot get the trade here. Oh, they actually do find the Yules, though. Oh, Kazu, very nice aphotic shield from Seller will keep him alive. Oh, but the LSA connects. No, that's not the LSA, that's the splitter. They're, they're the same spell, they're essentially. The same spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't really understand the draft. Obviously, these guys are very high understanding. It's just lucky, probably. Yeah, like OG's <laughs> PI win. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, Europe in general. True, true. All right, Shad. Oh, Mortimer's Kisses is actually coming in. ILTW gets the Aegis, and Nigma get the Roche as well. The Aegis is going to be expended right away, and they're able to kill Miracle right off the bat. Now, Mind Control looks to be next on the list, and they're going to turn this around pretty nicely. ILTW all alone inside that Roche pit, but here comes... Oh, the save was so close for GH, and now this is going to cost him his life in all likelihood. So it'll probably be four kills. They do give up Roche and the Aegis, but again... They get rid of it right away. I GH understand their look. Is dead. Go I ahead. understood their lineup perfectly. This is what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit random skill shots. Yeah, that's true. And I think one silver lining of that play, although it's obviously they wouldn't have done that, but they knew what was going to happen. Is ILTW getting jumped now? Diffusal Blade being shown. GH doesn't have his ultimate to work with. That means ILTW is donezo. As we have a smoke now on Viking onto three. Oh, they're gonna looking for Miracle. He's going to get jumped right off the bat with Shad coming in. That is a very quick and swift kill onto Miracle. 50 seconds on the deck. Now the jump in onto Kuroki is level 11, has the egg. Glimmer capes to safety for now, but Shad wants to get pretty deep. But GH ends up connecting. Now the dive to safety. Boom's going really deep, now applying all the pressure to GH. Mortimer's kissers from afar. And they'll be able to take out GH in turn. So two kills in favor of Viking. But it's looking a little rough. And we see the BKBs have been picked up on Viking now, like you were talking about. Is Mind Control getting chased? Boom, doesn't have vision, has very little mana now, but does find Mind Control in the end. Plasma Kill didn't connect, but Kezu and company, this should be enough, but Mind Control does do a lot of damage in the meantime. But again, Viking getting the trade after trade that they're looking for. Although that's that's a trade for nothing, so I guess that's more them stealing the life. Ah, uh, but on the ult. Yeah, LSA. Ooh, a little missed time there for Miracle. He's hit pretty much all of them all game, but... 
Okay, that's the trade, technically. Blink Hex from Lion and we every Lion, single game. Yeah, every game. Oh, they're going to spot Miracle. They're going to jump right in. And again, Shad's right clicks are way too much to deal with. Boom, continue on. They really want GH. He's already at half HP, but not a whole lot of mana left on Boom. He has the homing missile applied. Just enough mana to get that last right click off. And in the meantime, Kezu on the other side of the map here pops his BKB. Looks like he'll live. Trying to prevent any TP here from Mind Control. Shad finds him in the tree. Split Earth not going to connect. And the right clicks have come. It's three dead. Viking looking so good after a bit of a rough start this game. Yeah. Well, with the Aegis, they secure themselves a tier two in the bottom lane. And Miracle, like you said, still split pushing. TP support coming, though, and ILTW and GH are in the vicinity, but Boom initiates onto Miracle to start things out. Already at half HP, but they take out GH. That is all the tankiness for ILTW outside. Miracle pops the BKB in turn, though, trying to apply a lot of pressure to Boom. That is the Aegis. He expended the Laguna Blade, but Miracle gets bursted down by Shad. That's a double kill for him. Boom looking for more. Well, Aegis is down at the very least, as uh, there's now 7k net worth lead for Viking, and they jump in onto Mind Control. You can see the egg, that's the shard, being able to heal, but it's not going to be enough to save the life of Mind Control at the very least, but the egg does connect on a couple of heroes. They spit out, or whatever the hell, the gobble up, as we're going to see the initiation again onto ILTW with no IO in sight, but there we go. GH comes in with the save. Oh, they popped the cheese on come. Storm, so he's ready. Okay. And yeah, he's ready to go then. All right, Miracle in the vicinity. You can see Shad jump in. They're just gonna blow him up right off the bat. Oh no. And now the turnaround onto Kuroki, and this is falling apart so quickly for Team Nigma. Buyback on the GH. ILTW gets bashed though, and bursted down. Triple kill for Shad. He does not care with that shard. Mind control trying to get healed up by GH, but that is now an ultra kill. Shad just does way too much damage. They knew they could just wait for their timing, and every time I felt like they could do something even when I didn't see it with full vision. They were just, you know, that storm rotation. The supports the are actually continue. really good at killing buildings. You know, the minus armor. I only get a silence. Yeah, I mean, That's I guess silence in my tower and yeah. hit them back. <laughs> Uh-oh, ILTW. They're going to jump onto Miracle again, though. Boom pops the BKB. Miracle does so in turn as well. But ILTW is the one now that they're focusing on. But there is the relocate. Just a little baby one on the other side of the cliff here. There's the egg as well with the Sunray coming through. Viking has to be careful. They might have to back up here. Shout out the BKB. Overpowers out to safety. And that means Celery is going to be the lone member to fall. But again, kind of a botched initiation from Viking, if you want to call it that. Ooh, they have an amazing ward, too. Oh, we have a giant jump in onto GH from a long range. And that is an insta-gib. That's ILTW. Okay, he's going to call down just to prevent any further members of Viking coming over. But that's a pretty big kill. I mean, that's the hero you want to kill first pretty much in every engagement. Oh, this is another good one, though. Miracle getting bursted down again by Shad. The Abyssal Blade coming through. He does have buyback available, though, as you see the kisses coming in. And there, boom. I think that was the gobble up, actually. Now they're going to apply all the pressure to Mind Control. He's going to drop. No buyback for him, but Miracle does use his. Now 5v3. Jump in again. ILTW getting bashed down by Shad. And this looks like the beginning and end of this best of three as Viking look to be taking this 2-0. Kind of have to wait for Creeps here. Sully's in a bit of trouble in terms of HP. At the very least, they'll get this tier 4. Yeah, there we go. I said it. I was right. Good cast. Thank you, thank you. But I think it's... Why are they waiting to just Roshan? They're just trying to bait them in. This is a yeah, cool play. Perhaps. Oh, ILTW. They don't have any vision, as we can see there. But Viking does. Now, here comes the bear. And a Kuroki is deleted. We'll buy back into the game, though. And a nice attempt from GH to save the Leshrac. But Mind Control just gets decimated. And ILTW looks to be next, though. The Egg forcing everybody back from Viking. So not able to finish him off. And GH, yeah, he's going to go right into a static remnant. And now he will drop. So five versus three. And yeah, we'll see what Nigma has up their sleeve. Miracle only level 21. They have two hurricane fights. Oh, they went for a second one. All right, gobble up from a creep, and that leaves the opening for Storm to jump in. GH trying to save Miracle, but it's not going to be enough. The burst damage again, just way too much. Shad with the Abyssal and the Fury swipes. And now ILTW looks to be on his list now. And then he just gets a super easy kill. Double kill inside enemy lines and this is almost certainly ggs to be called here as mind control looks to be next for shad and yeah nigma after such a great showing at the major felt like that last series they played in the major kind of broke them and they kind of said that in their interviews for that tournament
I think they're, they're, just they're using these games a bit to test strategies, right? Like, I don't think there's a Enigma you would see at the Major, uh -huh. draft-wise. Hey, they got the Egg Killers. <laughs> <laughs> the panel was right! And GG's...